Why am I looking so much What's taller up? than you? <laughs> oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> We're live. Hey, everybody. So um, for the next 30 minutes, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to say welcome to our q and I told you at the beginning of December that we were going to have a Q&A and that you were going to be able to win an Insanity Max 30. So um, the way we're going to run this is Danielle is going to write down three questions. I mean, sorry, Danielle's gonna write down three numbers. And if your, num if your question is the number, wait, how am I gonna say this? Yeah. So like, if she writes down number one, the first question wins. If she writes down number two, the second question wins. If she writes down number 10, the 10th question wins. So. How many, how long do you think I can go with numbers? Um, well, we got 30 minutes, okay, so. Okay, so I think you're question. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. And there's questions. So. um. I just want to let you guys know how it's going to work. So if you do win, we're going to ask somehow, we're going to get your name, and then we'll go back to our Facebook page and post. Um, you have to give us your information, meaning just give us your page, and we'll go to your page, and we'll direct message you. And um, to make sure you are the person, you have to make sure you write us the question back. So we'll figure that out. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, that was good. So people don't be trying to like, mm. be oh, like that was my it. question. Mm -hmm. But Darren's right here to the side. You can't see him. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and uh, he's going to, <laughs> and he's going to look at your name so you know who it is. All right. So first and foremost, I say it's, um, it's been a great December. You want to come? There's another one over there. They love sparkling water. We love I don't. sparkling water. I like it flat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> It's been a great December, and um, as you guys know, we started the Holiday Edge. You got, I think we did eight workouts. Life got crazy, but we did keep to our promise to do this live chat. End of the year, end of the year live chat. So get everything you need to know. Um, as you know, the men's health cover came out. So cool. So cool. So excited. Um, but you know, it's not about the picture. It's really not about the picture. It's about the fine of your life and. I really believe that you guys out there, you're looking today, no matter what day you're on in your fitness journey, whether it's day one, whether you're restarting day one, or whether it's day 30, or whether you got five pounds to lose, one pound to lose, 30 pounds to lose, it's about you just every day doing the best you can do. And remember that when you wake up, you are already in that perfect body. Now, I know we say no, that nothing's perfect, nobody's perfect, but what I'm saying is, like if you really think about it at the end of the day, today, you're perfect because you have no other choice but to be where you are today. So you're you're starting at the perfect place, which is what you are right now. So we're gonna get started with the Q and A. Um, we got 30 minutes, and it's 5:38 here Mountain Time, 7:38, 5 5:38 Mountain Time, 7:38 Eastern Time, 6:38 Central Time. 4:38 Pacific Time. That was good math. <laughs> I know because a lot of people don't know. I know they so, don't know. Danielle has already written the questions on uh, the numbers on the paper, so we're going to start our speed round now. So the, this one, then blue? Okay. How do you find the motivation to work out every day from Mariella Lemus? Three, two, one, go. So, you know, we do a couple of different things. You know, I have Darren and Danielle and Scott, so I have a group. So I find the motivation to work out by a group um also work out with my friend todd on facetime we set a time in the evening we say okay tomorrow we're going to meet at such and such a time for me when it comes to doing workout programs and following the calendar i like to do it with people because i get compare notes and i know that they're holding me accountable so that's what i do yeah you did i forgot i only have 30 seconds i know you got to talk okay. super fast <laughs> <laughs> okay so next, oh this is from Janet Taylor, CDA. Does that mean something? Is it like a certified dietary association? <laughs> I don't know, but Janet, you're a certified dietitian now. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> she loves insanity and starting T25, but what happened to Delta? In three, two, one, go. So you'll find it to be very interesting. What happened to Delta? Well, Insanity Max 30 was supposed to be Delta. I was in... Uh, Australia, and I was sending over my treatment to Carl Dykler, the CEO of Beachbody, and I was like, hey, this is what, you know what I want to do. 
He's like, oh my God, and Katie, with this crazy idea that we do Insanity Max Twitter because everybody wanted a new Insanity. But don't worry, Delta and Epsilon will be on the way. Ooh, you heard it here first. All right, next question is from Tommy Edwards. Hi, Sean, is there any harm in performing the workouts twice in the same day? Am I wasting valuable rest time by doing that, or am I upping my results? Could I just perform the warm-up twice in the workout once? I love the original Insanity. Thank you, and go. Well, I definitely wouldn't double up on workouts every day because the workouts are designed so that you push to your max within the time allotted. However, I contradict that when we do the Insanity Asylum Hybrid. I have you doing multiple. So depending on what programs you have. You know, you can do an Insanity, original Insanity, and then you can do like Ab Shredder from Asylum Volume 2. Mm -hmm. Or you can do a pure cardio and do the, from the new Insanity Max Out 15. So you can kind of combine some things. I just wouldn't do two full workouts um, so that you don't get tired. Oh my God, and overtrain. I went past that. But that was okay because it was a good one because a lot of people want to do more than one workout when they really just right. shouldn't. And so you just have to keep me on time because okay. you know I keep talking. You have to be mean. It's so hard for me because I'm really so nice. I like the marker. I Wait, need you, it. I, I, I got, you know what numbers? I'm doing, I got this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael H. says, hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. I've been, hey, try <laughs> I've been trying to gain some weight. Oh, this is nice. I've been trying to gain some weight and mass this winter. Is Max 30 a good program for the skull? Also, what is your opinion on cut and bulk cycles? Three, oh, cool. Two, one. So in Sammy Max 30, you can definitely gain muscle mass. Um, Darren here, show your face. He was a gym lifter for the last year or so, year or two years, a long time, really. And now he he loves in Sammy Max 30 because the way that the body workouts work, as long as you eat and you get your nutrition right, good. So as far as bulk and shred, I mean, look, you bulk up, you shred down, you kind of just have to do it in a way where you're not overtraining and you're not doing too much of a yo-yo. Good. That was good. Um, like but it's really true because you guys both have like really giant muscles and you don't go don't to the gym. Don't work out. I mean, yeah. I work out. <laughs> I don't do weights. Yeah. Look at that. Boom, show them. Oh! Come on! <laughs> okay, here we go. This is from <laughs> Shana. Shana Shuera. Hey, Sean. Oh, wait. Hey, Shanti. That's that hip hop ass mm -hmm. hey, right there. You give so much to us with your kindness, motivation, and workouts. Thank you. What are you asking Santa for this Christmas? Oh, I love this question. Oh, cool. Three, two, one. You want to sit in my lap? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Um, what am I asking for Santa? You know, I'm not really asking for anything material. I just like love my family and i want my family to be healthy and my friends but they're more my family um i just ask them for people to be healthy and then to be very honest like in 2015 as as far as you guys out there i don't want you to have the new year's resolution to be fit i want you to make it a lifelong journey and know that every day you can do the best that you can do that was very nice you want world peace world peace and health mm -hmm. um this is from Lauren Lockard. Hi, Shanti. Your programs are awesome on their own. But if I wanted to combine two, which would you recommend combining and why? Ready and go. Oh, that is hard. Um, I would recommend Insanity Max 30, and not just because it's new, because it's really awesome. And my second program, what would I do? I would do Asylum Volume 1. Mm. If I did a hybrid, it would be Asylum Volume 1. She wants to know why. And Insanity Max 30, simply because... Um, I love, of course you want to know where it's going. <laughs> I love the agility and the concentration of Asylum with the ladder because you have something to work on, you have the pull-ups, and I love Insanity Max 30 because it's about maxing out and pushing to your limits every day. 30 seconds, get into it. That was so good. That. that was real good. Uh, this is Phoebe. What number is this? Um, this is number seven. Oh. Um, Phoebe, no, don't mess with me, I got this. <laughs> I'm holding my hands down on the side of my legs so I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe C, I'm not attempting her last name. What kind of weight training do you do? In three, two, one, go. Okay. Well, uh, we kind of just answer this right now because I'm going through the Insanity Max 30, 60 days. I do body weighted resistance. Um, but I also, again, you know I have a silent volume one and a silent volume two and they have weight. So whenever I do lift weights, I lift in that style. Um, when I 
when I pulled my, my calf muscle a few months ago, I did Tabata style weight training where I did full body workouts with, you know, not super heavy dumbbells, anywhere from 15, 20, 25, 30 pounds. So that's what I do with weight. Good job. This is from Heather, oh, just kidding. This is from Stephanie Gomez. Hey, Sean, thank you for helping me become a healthy me. Recently started a new job working 12-hour shifts, 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. I don't get to get my workouts in like I used to, but I need help with what to pack for meals and snacks at work. Any ideas? Go. Well, one thing that's amazing is, like, I make burgers, and I put them in a um, bag, and, you know, if you get some grass-fed beef, you make some burger patties up at the beginning of the week. They can last, you know, some people like make your grilled chicken, chop, chop it up. You know, of course there's always the carrots and celery and things like that that keep you healthy and, and fun and good. Um, and once a week, pack a snack so you don't deprive yourself. So a half a piece of pound cake won't hurt. Okay, okay this one is Heather Llewellyn. Hi, Sean, or excuse me, hey, Sean. Yeah. I've done the original insanity. Oh, and a sweet potato. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Very good, sweet potato. <laughs> They're important. Hey, Sean, I've done the original Insanity. I keep those DVDs in my workout rotation. What would be the biggest difference between the original Insanity versus Max 30? More cardio, new moves. Thanks. You are an inspiration. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Three, two, one, and go. Well, thanks for loving Insanity, and thanks for getting the new Insanity and, and inquiring about it. The biggest difference is more of a mental thing. Number one, we've compressed the original Insanity. That in month two, it's 59 minutes, and we compress it to 30 minutes. And you still get amazing results. The other thing that we did, and just pure and simple, the max out thing is every day you have a goal. You can look at the last week and you constantly have something to work towards. So you're not just working to dig deeper, you're working to dig deeper toward being better the next week. Okay. I don't know why I'm leaning in because they totally have LASIK eye surgery and like great <laughs> eyesight. So I'm like, why I'm like, well, leaning. let me read because that's 2020. No, good. <laughs> Okay, so this is from Jess Custer. I think it just makes me feel good. I've been doing T25 this year, finished two rounds of each of the phases. I've never done insanity, still modifying 50% of the time. Would Max 30 be a good next step for me? And three, two, Danielle gets to answer. Yes, so the great thing about insanity Max 30 because is Because she's a modifier. A modifier, and so is Scott. Say hi, Scott. Hey, Scott. Um, <laughs> and so, yes, what we've done is we've eliminated all the guessing for you. There's no reason why you can't start in Sandy Max 30. You can modify. And what's really cool is you can lock us off on the screen. So you never have to wonder. People are always like, I can't see Tanya. Well, guess what? You can always see Scott and Danielle. All you have to do <laughs> is, and he's coming behind us. All you have to do is lock us off on the screen you and you can doing? see us. So we absolutely, oh, he photobombed us. So you absolutely can start with Max 30. Okay, cool. Perfect. I'm going to drop this one because I want people to be able to see under my neck. Oh, okay. Oh, Good, because I feel like it was washing me out the other way. I'm not as So now I can see you. my, you can see these. Mm -hmm. That's, you smize for them, give it to them. Okay, this is from Wallace Stanley. Hey, Sean, or hi, Sean, can I use Max 30 to help train for a marathon? Love this question, and go. <laughs> yes, absolutely you can. You know, one of the most amazing stories that I heard when I did an event in Hawaii a few years ago is a guy came up to me and was like, I only did Insanity to train for my marathon. He was doing doubles, but, you know, excuse me. <laughs> it's that sparkling water. It's why I don't drink the bubbles, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, this guy had this amazing result on top of the fact that he dropped 30 minutes off of his, his marathon time just by training with Insanity. We hear that all the time in our certifications, too. I always ask if people yeah. run, and they, people that use Insanity. It's amazing. It's great. Yeah, I, I hate it. running. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Sprint. Char Adams says, congratulations on the men's health cover. Thank you. Still waiting for it here in West Virginia. What do you recommend for people with over 100 pounds to lose to stay motivated? Thank you. And go. So one of the things that I recommend for people with over 100 pounds to lose is don't put too much pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm all about leave yourself wanting more. So if you want to work out, Three days a week, great. If you want to start out with two days a week, that's great. You all, you don't want to overkill yourself in the first week because a lot of times with New Year's resolutions, what happens is people work out really hard and they eat lettuce every day and they can't keep up with it. So what, what you want to do, work out two to three days a week, change two or three meals a day or just two meals a day and they'll leave you wanting more. So really quick before we do the next question, one of my favorite stories you ever told is I think it was the person who did like your flowers or something, your wedding, and you just told her to walk through the warm up. Like, 
to just and then eventually once you've got like okay and then she tried yeah. a little bit and so like you just tell yeah. people to walk so i'm gonna say that this is intermission so you can even talk <laughs> without the 30 seconds that's what i did we went to uh, a flower place and we met with our wedding um planner and there was a woman in there and you know she's just like you know i really want to lose weight and i'm so glad you you know you hired me you know so can i ask you some questions so i was like do the warm-up do the dvds only do what you can do but walk the warm-up like if when we're jacking just use your arms step side to side if we're doing one two three heisman just walk to the right and walk to the left and what was amazing is that a year after she started um how much weight did she lose i think it's it took her a year to get through her first full workout, but she lost 80 pounds and she did the best that she could do. That's awesome. Okay. I'm happy for it. Anyway. So Courtney K, because of my work schedule, some days I feel like I max out before I start. Can I take a rest day in the middle of the week or should I always do five workouts in a row? Thank you for all you do. Much love, Courtney K. Mm. Oh, okay, that's a great question. Um, one of the things that is very interesting is some people have been asking me like with Insanity Max 30 because it's five days a week and they're just like overworked in that, I think I'm answering the question, but they're so overworked by the end of the week, they need a day off. So I'm like, you know what, in the original Insanity, I did three days on, then we did a recovery day and then you finish throughout the rest of the week. So you, you know, what I give you is a blueprint. If your body feels like it's breaking down, take that rest day and just continue on through the rest of the week. As long as you do all your workouts, right? Yep. Okay, Cameron Baker what says, number is this? Um, we are now on 14. Jeez, what's your first number? Um, <laughs> my number is really, the numbers are obvious. Okay, so, um, hey, Sean, what are the biggest differences between Max 30 and T25? Is Max 30 more cardio? Will I burn more calories given the same amount of intensity? Thank you for changing my workout philosophy and my life. Oh, we get this a lot. People are confused about T25 and Max 30. Yeah. Perfect. Five Ready minutes. and go. <laughs> so, well, the first difference is five minutes. The second is 30, 30 minutes. But no, we're just being silly. So I'm getting my four, my four seconds back. Okay. Um, T25 is progressive movements. You start out at a low impact, and then you always progress up. And that's how it works, you know? Start out low and progress. In Sanity Max 30, you're gone for it. It's cardio strength, cardio strength, no weights, no equipment. And a T25 has a band, it has a pull-up bar, it has T25 gamma, it has weights. Insanity doesn't have weights in Sanity Max 30. All you do is you use your body and you're maxing out. You're pushing to your max. You're not doing that with T25. You're trying to make it through. Good. All righty. Miranda L says, in Max 30, after you max out, would you still continue and finish the full workout? Or once you max out, then your workout is done? <laughs> it's a great question and don't it we is. all wish? Yeah. But in three, two, one. Go. Well, when you actually hit your max, you want to cut Shanti yeah. out and walk out of the room? Yes, I know you want to do that. However, no, you max out, you take however long you need. Sometimes I need 30 seconds to find my life, and then I get back in and I do the best I can do. And quite honestly, because I actually reach my max, I actually come back in and I have to modify some movements so that I can get my life back together. But you have to finish the workout to the best of your ability. That'd be crazy like you max out at like 235. And then you'd be like, all right, I'm cool for the Done. day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay. Um, so Jeffrey R wants to know when will Scott do his next photo bomb? <laughs> Did you just see him do it? I probably not. But um, good Scott is photo bombing all over the place <laughs> all the time. It is an ongoing process. You just, it's kind of like Where's Waldo? You just have to look for it. Yeah, and he, you know, he has his own line of cameras now <laughs> in the Netherlands. So, just so you know. <laughs> oh my God. So, if you don't know what we're talking about, go to Shanti Fitness. I mean, sorry, go to youtube.com slash Shanti Fitness and go watch Scott's, Scott Photo Bombs video. It's really funny. <laughs> okay. That was awesome. And then, Scott Photo Bombs on Instagram. Yeah. And Scott Photo Bombs on Instagram. Sorry. Unless you're a bot. Okay. Ooh, Dakota Dillon wants to know what are your thoughts about the paleo diet and the whole 30? I'm going to give Darren this, and you only got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. seconds. Come on. Ready? You want to sit on that? Let's put the power couple in here. <laughs> Three, two, one. What's up? Go. 30 seconds. Go, go, so go. That's absolutely the way that Danielle and I personally eat when we do Max Ray, when we do all of Sean's programs. 
you just have to make sure you are consuming carbohydrates. The paleo diet and whole therapy, we don't demonize carbohydrates. We just advise mm -hmm. getting them from good nutrient dense sources. Think starchy carbohydrates, starchy veggies like yam, squash, beets. Honestly, what yeah, exactly. we live on for a long for most of the time is kale, grass fed beef, and sweet potato. Time. It's an easy meal. <laughs> <laughs> That's other, a good answer though. The other thing too to just think about is really it's just eating foods that make you healthy, staying away from processed food that will make you unhealthy. So the great thing about the whole 30 is like an experiment with your body. What makes you feel bad? What makes you feel good? So it's a great way right. to look at it. Did anybody win yet? Sure, did. I have gone <laughs> down. Oh, I thought we were gonna announce it. Oh, you wanna, at the end? Yeah, yeah. let's see. That's oh. a little sparkle. Guess there. you gotta wait. <laughs> You think I don't watch. It's like when you like enter it. Oh, and then people are like, oh, three people want I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Smart. Because I would have been like, I ain't listening to Sean T no more. I'm um, kidding. Yes, I'm so smart. Okay. Is um, it already done? Yeah. Because I had, but I had, I was nervous. So I had like two backup numbers in case we didn't get that far. I didn't realize how many questions we could And we still answer. got 12 minutes left. Okay, Claudia Aguilar de Leon wants to know, how can you train legs butt when you have bad knees? Are there low impact moves you can do that will give the results, tone legs, round or butt, without being too harsh on the knees? In three, two, one, go. Absolutely, I have a bone spur in my left knee and sometimes I need to modify. Modifications are great because you get, you get to move into the movement much slower. And even though Scott and Danielle are modifying in Sandy Max 30, or if you follow Tanya in T25, you still don't have to move as fast as them. It's still a point for you to move as, as fast as you can go to the best of your ability, move into the movement slower. Now when range of motion comes in, then maybe you need to go to have physical therapy to try to strengthen some of the muscles around it, but you can absolutely get results. Yep. Modify the booty. Okay, Fred Mark wants to know, hey Sean, today's my birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, um, Fred. <laughs> it's also my first day of the Insanity Challenge. Whoa, happy birthday to you, happy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering how you select the people in your videos. Are they success stories, longtime fitness friend and colleagues, or a combination of both? Three, two, one, go. So really quick story. In the beginning, when Insanity first came out, what we did, we put this big casting call out in New York, and we had all these fitness people go, but also some of the people who were just getting fit in the test group, they wanted to go. And believe it or not, the people who were in the test group only 30 days in lasted longer than some of the fitness professional. So a lot of times I use the people that are in my test groups. But now that I've been doing this for so long, I use people who have gotten results with previous programs because they know the Sean T style, they know the Sean T way of life. And just in general, I like being around really good people. So I judge people on their personality. <laughs> Not personality, but their energy. Because I like having good energy. Energy matters. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Jimia. Jimia? Hey Jimmy and Maple. Hi, Sean and Danielle. Oh, thanks for the shout out. When I'm committed to my workouts, my eating habits suffer and vice versa. Do you have any tips on how to balance the two and maintain portion control? So like what? So she like works out and then like screws up her eating or eats well and right. screws up her workouts. Okay, ready, set, go. So contrary to popular belief, when you start working out, people think that they automatically go into this place where I can eat really healthy. When quite honestly, you start burning extra energy and you're actually hungrier than you were before you started working out because your body's like, oh my God, I need something. What you need to do is find out how long after you finish working out does your body need to eat. For me, I'm not hungry right away, but 30 minutes later, I'm starving. So what do you do? You prepare those meals before you even work out and throughout the day so that you know you're going to put something good in your body. You have very intense eyes for that question. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, oh my God, I need to finish this in 30 seconds. Uh, intense eyes are just who he is. This is a great question. Okay. Gabriella D wants to know, did either of you experience a moment of enlightenment that made you decide your career path? What brought you there? Do we get a full minute? Do I get to answer because she said yeah, either she said of you? Yeah, she said you. All right, so I'm going to go 30 start. and you go 30. Okay, go. Ready, go. The one reason why I wanted to come go along this path is has nothing to do with exercising. It actually has nothing to do with dancing. It has nothing to do with anything but that when I gained 50 pounds, when I got to a point where I felt good about myself, I wasn't even looking in the mirror. I just was walking down the street and I was like, oh my God, I feel really good. I was like, if people can feel like this, if people can feel like this, this is amazing. And I want to try to get as many people as possible to feel like this, not necessarily have a six pack. Ooh, you did that down. Good job. In three, two, one, go. So I don't know if you know this, but I used to be an elementary school teacher. I taught uh, fifth grade math. <laughs> and so math was great. I love teaching kids. 
but I always felt like I was I was meant to do more not that educating children isn't amazing but so I would say that I'm a teacher first and so I still am a teacher my audience is just different so now I get to educate the world on how to live a healthier happier life and that then spreads down to more people including children hopefully and it'll pass down generation to generation and then just because I'm her boss, I want to follow up on something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I want to follow up on, you know, a lot of times when people talk about a happier life or we found this, like some people might look at it as like condescending or like, oh my God, like sometimes people can look at it like we don't struggle now, but we still go through struggles. We still, but we use those stories that we just told you to propel us on and to know that anything is possible and you can get out of, you know, if you want to change a career path, not say we, we're not, I think the reason why we're able to talk so freely and openly about how happy we are now and why we chose the career path that we chose is because every day we still go through issues that make us stay connected to who we are and stay grounded so that, you know, we can, you know, we just, we're just grounded because we still go through stressors and things like that. So we constantly have to work on self-improvement that's really able to help us talk to you and help you through life. Yeah, because we need perfect. Nope. My All this man head. cares about is that you are finding your passion. If you are passionate about what you do, it doesn't matter what it is. Just be passionate about what you do. Excited hands. That's an insight. But his show. excited mm -hmm. hands were on my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, gentlemen. Okay. Okay. Dave Y says, Six minutes. What type of shoe do you wear for Insanity Max 30 workouts? Ready and go. Well, Sometimes I wear these, <laughs> and sometimes I wear these, and sometimes I wear, I have, I have a bunch of different shoes. I wear, it depends. Like, if I'm working out on a hard surface, I'll, I'll sometimes wear A6 or Fila, and then, but sometimes if it's like a nice carpet, I'll just wear no shoes at all. I like, I wear no shoes when I can. <laughs> we like no shoes, yeah, but. Yeah, you got to change the question. Do your job. Oh, so that's the same guy. He doesn't get two questions. He can get two questions. Yes, yeah, question. all right. Dave, you're special. You but it's going, to be a, it's going to be a five-second answer. So. Okay, ready? What is your, oh, okay. What is your, oh, I think I, I don't know if I know this. What is your favorite Insanity Max 30 workout? Go. Oh, go. Oh, my favorite Insanity Max 30 workout, contrary to what anybody would ever think, is Max Out Sweat. Interesting. That one's mm. so hard. It is terrible. <laughs> It's so terrible, but one day we were about to do Max Out Sweat and I was mad about it. And I walked past Darren because I always have to go to the bathroom before I work out. I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be so hard. And I was over it and he was like, well then you just need to change your mindset and attack it. And that day I finished it without stopping. That was good. And I never did. That's not my favorite one, I'll tell you that one. No, it's so hard, it's so hard. Um, oh, hey Jess Custer, I was part of your diet fit challenge in November. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. It was awesome. Very motivational and kept me on my game. Any plans for another diet bet in the new year? There are plans, but we just don't know when it's going to be. But you will find out. Okay. But thank you, and I'm glad you joined, and we're glad you're here. Mm -hmm. All right. Bakwa. Lil, hey, little Susie. Little Susie. Little Susie. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, little Susie. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Why can't we make up a song to a name called Little Susie? I love the name. As a fitness instructor, what would be your advice to build class participation and overcoming excuses? Three, two, one, go. The number one way to build class participation is to greet everyone at the door and to shake everyone's hand when they leave because they will know you care. That's number one. Number two, the workout is not about you. Unless you're teaching a dance class and you or a step class where they have to see you, if you're teaching like a boot camp or something where you can actually go around and motivate them, go around and motivate them. And then overcoming excuses. Look, you just have to be the motivator and lead by example because people are going to always find a way to make excuses. But maybe what you can do is each day you have class, put up a motivational thought in front of the room and have those people hold on to that. So the next time. Ooh, that's good. I like that. Um, Marie Manning says, can you please create an audio CD? You are so motivating, and there are some people out there who can't work out to your DVDs yet. My BFF is one. She's recovering from surgery, and you really help her. Oh, like motivation. So oh, can we talk about that? Yeah. I don't see why not. When, do, when do they air? Um, soon. Well, yeah, so I just say soon. Soon. Within in January. Okay. Yeah. Go. Well, I'm very happy you asked that question, because in January, I'm starting my very first <laughs> podcast. 
Yeah. It's be a weekly Woo. podcast of motivation and helping you define your life inside the workout and outside the workout, but mostly starting from the inside of you to the outside of you. Stay tuned to ShantiFitness.com for more details. <laughs> <laughs> And it's going to be just like this. It's going to be fun, motivating. Sometimes we'll laugh. Sometimes we'll cry. Sometimes we'll get deep. Sometimes we'll make you think. Sometimes we'll celebrate. But every day you will be left with something to think about. So next week you can come back for more. I'm actually recording the music right now. Oh, yeah. I have my amazing music guys in my dining room recording some amazing music for the podcast right now. So it's very exciting that you asked that question. All righty, Rue. No, he doesn't get a third question. Sorry. Oh, wow. Got really got <laughs> yeah, I love that you are so But Dave, interested. wait a minute, but what's the question? It's a good question, though. That's Ask the question. All right, Dave, but if you get hate mail, it's not my fault. <laughs> hey, Sean, we all know you make awesome, intense workout programs, but have you ever done a workout program that someone else has made? If so, what was it, and why did you like it? So Ready? Much. And go. Um, only other workout that I think I've done that someone else made was workouts done by Kathy Smith because she was really the one to inspire my fitness career. She, like, I would go to her house and she would have friends over her house working out. They would eat. They would do all these things. And I would just, she really taught me how to do fitness. And it wasn't even something that, like, she didn't have workouts that I wasn't, I wasn't not interested in them, but they were more um, general basic workouts, but I loved it because I got a great foundation for not only fitness, but for how I wanted to live the rest of my life. Ooh. Shout out Kathy Smith. Shout out Kathy Smith. Um, She's amazing. Michelle Balance says, what do you look forward to eating during the holidays? Good question. Ready? And uh Oh, he's like backing up for <laughs> this. Here we go in three, two, one, go. I look forward to eating baked macaroni and cheese because my mom is coming into town for Christmas now. I made it for Thanksgiving, but it's always better when someone else cooks it. Um, hopefully there's some sweet potato or pumpkin pie on the table. I know this sounds like Thanksgiving, but you know Christmas and Thanksgiving can be similar. And then that's really it. I mean, you know, I eat every, I mean, you know, it is, it is what it is, but I, oh, and somebody makes amazing pound cake. Oh You're really into the pound cake today. I love pound cake. <laughs> it's a secret. Don't bring me pound cakes to my events. Well, if you want I to. I mean, if it's made with love. I mean, you know, <laughs> if you get it from the corner store in a package with, like, really bad and ingredients. And pound cake is yummy, I think. I, I really remember. love it. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. This is Anders Jurg. Hey, Sean T, a.k.a. the only motivator that can keep me going. And thank Whatever. you for that. Times a mountain. My question is, if something important comes up, please give a workout. I'm spitting on myself. Should you do two the next day? Or just get back into it starting from the one you miss? Go. Really important. That's a really great question. Let me tell you why. And here's and why. And here's why. Because on, what's today? Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. When did I come home? <laughs> Monday. Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. So anyway, so on Tuesday, I had a really crazy day where I had to I had to skip my workout and I had to fly to LA and then I had to get up the next day and do a shoot and I missed my workout and I was like, oh my God, Wednesday morning, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna do, you know, max out power and I'm gonna do sweat intervals. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. That's I don't, you know what? I skipped that workout and I'll make it up maybe tomorrow, but I have to work tomorrow. That's gonna be equivalent to it, so I'm cool. But don't do, don't double up. Because it's, you know, sometimes your body needs that rest day anyway and make it, give it as a gift to yourself. I think we can take one final question. Oh, what time is it? Oh, one final question and then, and then we'll announce the winners of the three Insanity Max 30 kits. And we have to make sure they get it before the new year. Scott, what? he's the business manager. We're just saying that the these question. winners got to get it. All right, ready? Here's last question. Okay, Mike, not even pronouncing that name, Mike V. Well, let me try it. Okay. Mike Villa Vincencio. Villa Vincencio. Okay. I'm Villa a new coach. Do you have any suggestions how to motivate people to become healthier who have been reluctant from their previous experiences? So um, one of the things about being a coach is you can't force yourself mm -hmm. on people. And the other thing you have to understand about being a coach is the people who are going to relate to you are the people who are going to relate to you. You can't relate to everyone. So you just put out your message out there. You put out your motivation. You put out the way you live your life. I mean, obviously, you're working out. You're eating healthy. But keep it very real. People like real people. It's like me trying to act like I'm somebody else 
to be their friend, eventually I'm going to be who I am and they're not going to want to be my friend. So when you're out there and you're a new coach, just show the world who you really are through health and fitness and the people who want to be surrounded by you and surround you will come with you. That's a great answer, Sean T. Thank you. So thank you guys for coming out. We're going to announce the winners of the three Insanity Max 30s. Oh and gosh. this is what you got to do. Um, where should we have them? Oh, they should submit. Contact form. Contact form. All right. So. What support? Contact form. Oh, contact form. All right. Contact form or support? All right. That's right. I All think right. it works. So yeah. contact form at SeanTFitness.com. When your name is announced, that's what you're going to send. You're going to go to that. You're going to go. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Yeah, so you go, go to, to some, yeah, go Oh, website. go to the website, click on contact, and fill out a contact form that you were the winner. And with your name, with your name, I'm trying to concentrate. Scott's not only a photo bomber, but he's a talking bomber. So he brings up the point, like, to show that they're really who they are. So they can, if they screenshot their Google name. So, um, you know, so, oh, hey, Amanda Panino. Hey, Panese, I don't have upper body strength. Do try to set this. Any advice for improving them? I can do them balance them. I think it's just, but not. Use a chair. Start out with a chair and build up. <laughs> Hashtag really. real Panese. Hashtag Panese. <laughs> okay, go. Okay. But if you, I think what Scott was saying is if they um, screenshot their, like, um, Google login, then we can match that, like, that person's really. There like you go. Person. Screenshot or take a picture with your phone and send the picture to, um, Within the contact form. So go to SeanTFitness.com, click on contact, and if you win, send us your name and obviously your name because it's going to be your email, which will be work too, and send us a picture with your Google Hangout name and get Just ready. Yeah. So don't do that. And then y'all will write you back. And I'll write you back. Okay. <laughs> so my first. Oh, but first, wait. So don't just send messages to this thing because we don't. Where it's a contact form for certain things. I don't think you're going to get me because I never answer. Yeah, don't be crazy, like, because <laughs> then you're just making a lot of work for me. It stresses me out. It's the holidays and kids. But we do love you. Okay, here we go. Okay. So the first person to so find What number, were the numbers? Okay, the numbers were 3, 13, and 15. You like how? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so uh, anyway, <laughs> it's like a thing. So number three is Tommy Edward. Yay! Why are you laughing? Number 13 oh. is Courtney K. You didn't have your last Yay! And then number 15 was Miranda Lettleman. Yay! <laughs> Wait, who's the first one? Tommy Edwards. Oh, so we, okay, cool. Yeah, the boy, one boy, and two girls. <laughs> the teacher and her. Yeah. Anyway, I know we're crazy. Um, we're going to send you Insanity Max 30. If you already have it, the great thing is you can give it to somebody in the new year that okay. wants it. Don't just be taking it to nobody being like, here, you need to lose weight. <laughs> Make sure they actually want it and they're going to use it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy your holiday season, the rest of the year. And I hope that um, you join us next year. We're going to have uh, in Insanity Max 30 challenge group that's going to happen yeah. in the new year uh we're going to have actually a couple challenges of course we talked about diet that um go to our uh website do we have our events up yet for the new page so the events are coming up soon but i know some off the top of my head okay so we're going to tell you the events that we have off the top of our head and go so january 10th in lincoln nebraska and you can go to sean t lincoln live yeah <laughs> Live in Memphis. Yeah. So, yeah. so whatever. Just Google. In Lincoln, okay. Uh, yeah. And then he's going to be in Jacksonville in uh, February 28th. And that's Sean T. Live in Jack. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> well, just tell just Darren check, and Tony that he needs to get week. the events page and, out. <laughs> and then, of course, there's Sean Trevenge in Canada. And you can. Yeah, Mohegan April. Sun. April 12th, Mohegan okay. Sun. It's a Sunday. In Connecticut. In Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Sean Trevention, Canada. Um, you can go to SeanTrevention.com. That's S H A U N Trevention.com um, for you Canadian folks. So, if you want to have fun with us in Toronto, outside of the country, because we do get a little buck. Tell them about it, UK. Tell them about it, UK. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Anyway, gotta go. And, of course, there will be more, I'm sure. 
What? And the event to... section will be up next week sometime. I apologize. They work me. I never sleep. I don't get to eat food. Literally, I just work on this website 24 hours a day. But if I had him take off his shirt right now, you would know that he eats because he couldn't hold those muscles <laughs> and keep that body without eating. We revamped the website too. Check it out. It's really, well, we, he, um, but, you know, revamped the website. So it's really cool. And Shanti's on it and he's really pretty. <laughs> and new functionality is added every week. Oh, the Mac can't connect to the iPod. So we got to go. Happy holidays. Happy, happy holidays. holidays. And happy, yeah, holidays. happy holidays. Yeah, come on, Bob. Woo! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Unless you are, if you're not, and if you don't celebrate Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. All right. Christmas card. Take the cameras out. <laughs> oh, yeah, Christmas yeah, card. Take Let your picture out. now. Get it, photo. <laughs> Hope you got it. All right, guys. Thank you. Happy New Year. See you soon. And as I always say, peace, peace out. out.